So, hello, my friend, my friends. Uh, have a good day. Um, this video is called "Spoon Kills Status Quo," and if we don't know, my name is Hack, and I live in a place that is called Finland. One month ago, I posted a video explaining the idea of the full moon, full stop, and stop like this. And it's now the full moon of August. Last night was full moon. Uh, it was very pretty and I want to use the next minute to share with you the results of this month stop and I also want to use the opportunity to thank you for watching this video and maybe even sharing it if you like it in the last video I already mentioned that this post will have something to do with spoons but before we get there I want to show you this yeah, so we have planet earth and now Imagine an alien spaceship the size of a continent with huge laser cannons threatening to push our Earth into the Sun um, if we would not change our ways. And I believe that in this situation we would very soon understand that we need to act together to, to figure out how to change our ways and that we would work also do, do things in our own lives. But anyhow, we would you know, understand the situation. Um, as I explained already in my last video, we actually right now are in a very similar survival situation, uh, at least similar in terms of seriousness, um, as our survival criteria are not fulfilled in a sustainable way. Well, and I say it's like almost as serious uh, as, as this alien attack because Unlike with the alien tech, we have the luxury of knowing our problem. We know what our problem is and we know that we actually are the problem. And we also know that we have to be and that we can be the solution. In the moment, however, we use our feelings, our energy, our time, resources to, uh, for fighting about all kinds of you know, self-made borders, yeah? other borders also. Um, and fighting symptoms of our behavior, symptoms like climate change and inequality. Over about 99% of our human history, however, we lived connected, sustainable lifestyles. Lifestyles that our children could safely copy. Well, that's a criteria for a good lifestyle. So, back then we knew who we are, 99% of our history. We knew who we are, and by now it seems that we have somehow forgotten what we are, we have forgotten how to be, and we have forgotten maybe even why we are. And we are stuck in, inside our system, our status quo, uh, that requires more than one planet. And it's not, of course, possible to you know, require more than one planet if we only have one. So the thing is, we need to remember how, why, and what to be. Since all of us are on this planet together, um, you know, it's very easy to understand that there is no us and them. It's us people. You know? And there's no blame game. It's us. And I came to the conclusion that because of this, it's a lot easier than we think to reinvent our status quo. So often we don't even understand, realize that, you know, we are part of the system by, you know, buying paprika wrapped in plastic, you know, while living in Finland. Um, so the status quo that we need has a different why, a different how, and a different what. It needs to be completely different to what we have right now. And we, we are able to change that slowly. I'm very convinced of this. And I think it's a lot easier to be part of this solution. And I most strongly recommend to everyone to look up on YouTube uh, John Young Nature. Check this out. Amazing, amazing person. Um, he knows a lot about connection, and uh, we need we need connection. We need connection all on three levels: connection with ourselves, with each other, and connection with the rest of nature. This is how people survived before us. And connection, uh, in that sense, is the medicine, according to John Young, that that our world needs the most. And I, you know, couldn't agree more. So, now about this spoon challenge. Uh, this is my first spoon. 
I think this is now over 35 years old. This one here is a spoon I made myself from juniper wood. And this spoon here is a, uh, you know, looks quite identical, special spoon bought in a hiking store, um, very light, made of titanium. Uh, this spoon cost me about 15 euro. And um, yeah, I, I learned that one billion of us people need to live with 15 euro, you know, for about 10 to 12 days. So, in retrospect, I feel very bad, very ashamed, actually. Um, and I want to apologize to you for this foolish and selfish purchase. So, these here are all the tablespoons I could find in our house. That's 32 tablespoons, and we are three people in our family. And of course our family is not representative, but I'd like to argue that on Earth we have a lot more spoons than we are, than we are people. I uh, also think that on average we use less than two spoons at the time. And it brings me to the conclusion that we do not need to produce, sell or buy any more spoons. In fact, we need to stop buying, selling and producing new spoons. And that's, that's a fact, without alternative. So the same goes, of course, pretty much for all our things. Uh, but I believe that spoons are very suitable to begin with. Uh, very symbolic, even though I find cups, cups, yeah, almost equally tempting. Um, during my life, I have noticed that individuals can change their ways the fastest. Companies can change their ways much faster than governments, and this is why I want to address you as individuals and you as companies. Um, if you're a company, please be aware that the idea of economical growth does not make sense. This idea doesn't work, especially if it is based on fossil resources and, and the loss of others. Um, as a wilderness guide, I'm in the situation of living in two very different worlds. I, have the, you know, I live in the, partly in the modern world. And the other world I'm living in is the natural world, which to me is actually a reality. When I was at university, I worked in a small hiking store. And there I learned that many people who work for or in this outdoor industry, big industry, uh, they also know about those two different worlds. In fact, nature is the, the main product the outdoor industry is selling. And we like to believe or we make each other believe that we as outdoor industry people or that the outdoor industry people uh, are passionate and concerned about nature but you know when you look in a hiking store you you know see a new new you know fashion like new items coming in every season yeah um, and since we are still being born naked we kind of know that we don't really need any of these things those nice to have things not even spoons. So my challenge goes out um, to to give up spoons. Stop selling, stop buying, stop producing spoons. Uh, it's a bit like the pedestrian crossing in Finland. Cars don't stop if people don't walk and people don't walk if cars don't stop. But, you know, just, just start. Um, I, I start. I carry my own spoon all the time. I carry my own cup all the time. Um, uh, you know, it might be a small thing, but I think this is uh, how we how we start um, popping our suicidal bubble. We have to understand that nature and, and uh, a culture based on connection is is by far more important than than money and economic growth. This is what we need to survive. So, since spoons were among the first products produced items that we people called our own, I would like to challenge us to give up spoons. That's, that's the message of my post. More spoons don't make sense. I happily you know, give away 29 of our 32 spoons. Uh, to those of you who don't really have a spoon already, if you come visiting us, please bring your own spoon. <laughs> um, so, be honest, um, be good. Um, let's do that. Um, 
be good to others, be good to yourselves, uh, good to the rest of nature, and uh, stop selling, buying, and producing spoons and all kinds of other things. But I think spoons are cool to start. So pop the bubble, it's suicide what we do otherwise. And that's it for now. The next full moon full stop will be uh, in one month. You can easily see it coming when looking up at the sky, spend time outdoors. And uh, I invite you all to try this full moon full stop. It's explained in my last video. And um, yeah, I think it's good to, to be good together. It's good to be one together. And I thank you and I wish you a month of goodness. See ya.